Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing basically like a book haul. Um, I've bought a ton of books since the new year started and um, I don't know I really like watching book hauls so I thought I'd try and make one and see how that went. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I'm pretty barefaced today. Hair is kind of a mess. Got like a migraine um, but I can't fall asleep so I figured I'd make a video instead. So if my pep seems a little off, it's because I'm not feeling 100%, but I hope you enjoy regardless. So first I figured I'd start with a bookish item, but it's not actually a book. And that's the Magical Monthly Reading Planner by Owl Crate. It basically just gives you like, I don't know, it's kind of, it's like a planner, but for books, and it gives you like places to do book reviews, what book releases you were looking forward to, just different stuff. And I thought this would really help me keep on track with the TBR because so far this year I have not followed my yearly TBR so um, I thought maybe this would help me keep on track in a cute little fun way. So the books I'm going to be talking about are in no particular order but I figured I'd just go ahead and kind of group them a little bit. So the first books I'll be talking about I bought from Amazon. The first book I have that I bought from Amazon is White Stag by, I don't, I'm not going to say her Roth's name right, but Kara Barbary. And that's how it's spelled. So I am really good friends with Pandian or Kara, and um, she signed a book plate for me. You can kind of see it. But so when her debut novel came out, I went ahead and picked it up. Um, as you guys know, fantasy is not usually my go-to, but this is a like everyone on Wattpad raves about this book that's into fantasy. So um, I figured I would give it a shot. The next book I have is. A Bad Boy Stole My Bra by Lauren Price. Um, this is another Wattpad turned published book and it's about exactly what the title says. Um, it's a kid, his name is Alec, I almost said Ryder, it's Alec and Riley, not Ryder. Alec, Wild, and then Riley, and kind of like their banter back and forth, which may turn into something a little bit more. Next I have Matt, Matt, my Bad Boy Neighbor by Desiree Clark. Desiree is another friend of mine. She's so sweet and um, she self-publishes a lot of her books. So I just picked this one up to support her and obviously to read because Bad Boy is my go-to. Um, the back doesn't really tell you much. It's just a girl, a boy, and a bet. But I mean, what more do you need to know? It's a bad boy, he's your neighbor, and there's a bet. The next Amazon purchase I have is Light as a Feather by Zoe Arson. Um, this was a Wattpad book turned published and as you can see it's now Hulu series so please go watch it on Hulu support our girl but I watched the Hulu series and I was very intrigued so I knew I needed to pick up the book to figure out what the heck was going on. Next I have In the Meek Shall Walk by Sean Allen. This basically is a retelling of, of The Little Mermaid but a horror version. Um, for those of you who know me horror is not my go-to genre but the Little Mermaid is my favorite movie, princess, everything of all time. So I figured I would give Sean a chance and read this definitely during the day and definitely when I'm not home alone. So now I'm gonna go on to books that I bought from a website called Book Outlet. It's basically where you can get overstocked books or like just books for a cheap price. And I usually spend enough to get free shipping. So I always get a ton of books from there. So a lot of these books I don't know anything about. I just, they came highly recommended to me, so I figured why not pick it up, you know? So this first book is that. It's called Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welch. And it's by the same author who wrote Love and Gelato. And uh, you can see there's still a little sticker on here. I can't get it off. I've tried really hard, but I don't wanna like rip the book cover, so I'm still working on it. But um, Love and Luck follows, I have no idea. I don't know anything about this book, but I know that Love and Gelato was very highly recommended to me. So I found this one on Book Outlet and figured I'd give it a shot. So next I have The Super Villain in Me by Daniel Banas. Banas? I don't know. Um, this is a Wattpad book turned published book through Swoon Reads and I've been dying to get my hands on it. Um, and I found it on Book Outlet and knew that I immediately had to pick it up. I don't know much about what it's about, but obviously it has a super villain and it has a girl I can tell that based on this. I don't know much about it, but I know that I'm really gonna enjoy it. 
The next book I have is My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wanga, Warga, by Jasmine. And I don't know much about this book, theme of this book haul, other than um, it involves like a suicide pact, I think, between two girls who um, want to commit suicide. So obviously trigger warning for suicide um, and kind of follows their story and where they go. So very intrigued. For those who know me, I really like books that tackle mental health and obviously suicide is a very prevalent topic in today's society. So next I have Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. I actually pre-ordered this book, but when it came time for pre-order, um, my bank account was empty, story of my life. So I didn't get to pick it up, but I saw it on Book Outlet and immediately knew I had to have it. Um, again, I don't know much about this. It just came highly recommended to me since I do like the Little Mermaid retellings or like any D Disney retellings in general. So people told me I would really like this one. So next I have Words on Bathroom Walls by Julia Walton. Um, all I know about this book is again, it tackles mental health. It tackles schizophrenia, I believe. I'm really intrigued. I mean, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but I really like books that talk about mental health. So, um, yeah, I figured I'd give this one a shot. Next, I have What We Saw by Erin Hartzler. This book tackles um, rape, I believe, like at a party. Um, I'm not really sure, but I definitely know that it tackles like either date rape or just rape in general. So trigger warning for that, obviously. But um, I was very intrigued by the topic and so I wanted to pick it up. Um, I think this was recommended to me by a booktuber. It might have been Jesse the Reader, but I don't 100% remember. So um, this was definitely recommended to me by someone on booktube. Not personally recommended to me. I don't know any booktubers personally, but I mean like in a recommendation video. So next I have The Summer of Chasing Mermaids by Sarah Ockler. This basically, I have no idea story of my life don't know what this one follows but um it has mermaids so it's worth a shot right if i like mermaids the story has mermaids that's pretty much all i know and lastly for my book outlet section of this haul i have the chaos of standing still this book was recommended by Haley in bookland um she talked this was like on her favorites of 2018 and when i saw it on book outlet i went ahead and picked it up just because um she recommended it I remember why I picked it up now. Um, it reminded me a lot of Textrovert by Lindsay Summers, just the whole swapping phone aspect. So um, I really like Textrovert or the cell phone swap. So I figured I would give this one a shot as well. So next up I have books that I bought um, off of a, like a Facebook swap group. Um, it's just a Facebook group where people sell secondhand books and um, I picked up a few. The first one I have is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stoff. Fighter, stop fighter. I don't know. Um, when I was first getting into fantasy, I think it was 2017, beginning of 2018, um, this book came recommended to me because I really like angst and I really like bad boys and someone was like, Rachel, you love Raven Boys. But um, I was in a reading stump last year so I never ended up picking it up, but I saw it on the Facebook group and I was like, may as well give it a go. Next, I have Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. Um, this book was recommended to me because it is apparently an LGBTQ plus book, which I've been looking to read more of. And um, it's fantasy as well, which I've also been looking to read more of. So those go hand in hand for me. And someone recommended this book to me. So I was like, I saw it on the Facebook group and I figured I'd just pick it up. So if you've been around on my channel for a while, you'll know that one of my favorite book series is by Jessica Sorensen. It's called, it's the Callie and Caden and the Violet and Luke series. Um, and so I saw, I only have them on Kindle and I've been looking to pick them up in paperback. So I saw someone on the Facebook group selling a few copies. They had The Coincidence of Callie and Caden and The Destiny of Violet and Luke. So I went ahead and picked up both of them just so that I could start my little collection. And in case you don't know what they're about or you never heard of them, um, Callie and Caden follows the story of a girl named Ka Callie and a guy named Caden. Um, Caden is a football player. Callie is a um, football player coach daughter. And um, they've both been through some traumatic experiences when they go off to college. And this follows them in college. Well, it starts in high school, but leads to college. 
and I've been I really love college age books because I feel like there aren't enough of them out there so this follows their story it's I think there's four books now and then this is the first book in the Violet and Luke series the destiny of Violet and Luke which is a spin-off of this one so Luke is Caden's best friend and this just kind of follows him and his romance story and it's Honestly, I like this one just a little bit better than I like this one because there's more angst. And as everyone knows, I love me some angst. Next, I have The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I really don't know anything about this book. I just know that Jenny Han wrote the To All the Boys I Love Before series, which I still haven't read, but I do have the first book. Um, which I, And I haven't seen the Netflix movie because I refuse to watch it until I read the first book. But I went ahead and picked up this one by Jenny Han too, just because it was on sale. And I figured I'd give it a shot. So next I have The Dark Heroine by Abigail Gibbs. This is another Wattpad book turned published book. I've been trying to get my hands on it and someone was selling it in the Facebook group. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, it's basically, it was originally called like Dinner with a Vampire, it's written on here. And obviously it's about vampires. This came out about on Wattpad when the whole Twilight thing was really big. So this was really big and then I never got a chance to read it on Wattpad. So I figured I'd go ahead and purchase the book and um, give it a try. Next I have The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. Um, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. So I figured, look there's something stuck to the cover, oops. And I've never read the book, which is embarrassing to say because I always, always, always read the book before seeing the movie. But in my defense, I didn't know that this was a book back when I saw the movie however many years ago, a long time ago. Um, since then, of course, I've learned it was a book. And um, I just wanted a cover. This is going to sound weird, but I don't like movie covers. I like like the original book covers. So I've just been on the search for a book with just the original cover and someone was selling it. So if you watch my last video, you know that um, the book Crank by Ellen Hopkins was on my TBR. And this is just another book in the series called Burned um, by the author of Crank and Impulse. Um, I really don't know what order to read these in. So anybody that has any advice, please let me know. I know that I also need to pick up Glass, and I have Crank and Impulse and Burned, and I think there's some other ones. I don't know, but now I have Burned, so that gives me three so far in this series. And um, yeah, I'm just I'm, again, I'm trying to collect them all in this cover edition because um, that's the one that I started with. So I'm just on the lookout for these covers and to read through the series in whatever order I can figure out. Next, I have Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz. Um, I don't know anything about this book. Um, when I was showing my friend Ali Novak what I bought from Book Outlet, she showed me what she bought and this was on there. And I saw it on um, the Facebook group and I was like, I might as well give it a shot. So I really have no idea what this is about. Uh, the cover is super cute though. It's like this girl's dress turns into the heart and I think that's adorable. Um, but yeah, I have no idea what to expect. So next I have Heartless by Marissa Meyer um, who wrote The Lunar Chronicles. I was told by several people that I wouldn't like The Lunar Chronicles even though they're retellings of some of my, I mean I love Disney retellings and that's what they are. But I guess they're like cyber robots or something. I don't really know. I don't know what to expect from this book, but it's an Alice in Wonderland retelling, I think. I could be totally wrong on that, but I think that's what it is. And um, I thought I would give Marissa Meyer a go, and then if I like this, I might end up picking up The Lunar Chronicles. Next, I have Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Um, I picked up this book because a clockwork reader said it was her favorite book. And as we can tell so far, um, when a booktuber highly recommends a book, I buy it. <laughs> So I ended up picking up Strange the Dreamer, and um, again, I have no idea what this book is about, but Clockwork Reader is one of my favorite booktubers, and she really likes it, so I figured I'd give it a go. Next, I have a book that's been on my to-buy list for a long time, and that's Afterward by Jennifer Matthew. Um, when I first started creating a TBR, this was one of my very first books. That was probably years ago, and I never ended up picking it up. Um, I don't even remember what it's about anymore. I think if 
I can tell from the title that there's a kidnapping and that's all I really know. But I remember really wanting to read this book, so when I saw it for sale, I knew that I had to pick it up and go back to one of the very first books I ever put on a TBR. So yeah, a little bit of nostalgia. Next up, I have This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. Um, I don't know anything about this story other than everybody raves about the cover. The cover is gorgeous. I know it's a romance. Um, romance isn't like my go-to genre, but it's one of my you know, favorite genres. So I figured I'd give it a go. And if not, I mean, the cover's beautiful, so at least I have that going for me. And then last of all, in my Facebook buying swap group, I don't know, I have Sadie by Courtney Summers. Zero idea what this one is about, but everybody on book Twitter, booktube, everywhere I have bookish things, they're raving about Sadie. So uh, someone was selling it and I was like, you know, I might as well pick it up because I never read. That's not true. Sometimes I read hyped up books, but I usually miss out on the hype. Like I think the hype for Sadie is already over. But um, yeah, I still want to read it because everyone hyped it up so much. I'm really intrigued now. Next up, I have a book that was on my Christmas list that Ali Novak ended up giving to me. And it just got here today. Uh, this is like February 13th. <laughs> and that is Part of Your World by Liz Braswell. It's a twisted tale on The Little Mermaid uh, if Ursula were to win. So like if Ariel didn't win and Ursula win, what would have won? What would have happened? Um, I'm really intrigued by the premise. I know Liz Braswell has a bunch of like twisted tales. So um, if I like this one, I'll definitely be picking those up as well. And I'm really excited to start reading. And then the last two books I have, I picked up on a whim at Target because that's what I do. I just walk through the book aisle and see what it is that I need to buy. So first off, I have Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Peppernell. Um, this came recommended by Amanda Loveless and anyone who knows me knows that I love Amanda Loveless and I love her poetry collections, like all of them. So when she recommended this one, um, I went ahead and added it to my TBR list and then I saw it at Target and was like, it was 20% off as all Target books are, so I just went ahead and snatched it up. And then last, but certainly not least, for this book haul, I have Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott with Mickey Daughtry and Tobias Ekinus. Um, I picked this one up because I know it's going to be a movie soon, and before I can see the movie, I have to read the book, so um, I picked this one up. I don't know really what it deals with. I know that it deals with like a, a lung disease and I can't remember the name of it, um, but it's basically takes out your immune system. So I know that like five feet apart stands for like how far apart people, or they should stay from each other. Um, and then I know the guy, he's like kind of reckless, bad boy, and the girl's not. So I don't know, I just was really intrigued by the premise and so I need to read the book before I see the movie. And that is it for today's book haul. As I said, it was a pretty big one. Um, those are all of the books I've bought so far in 2019. Um, in my defense, I did get a new job. So when I got my first paycheck, I, little, I went a little haywire in the book department. <laughs> But I've definitely calmed down now. Um, I'm working through my TBR again instead of buying books out the wazoo. Do people still say that? I feel like I'm the only one that says that, out the wazoo. But that's what I did. I bought books out the wazoo. So yeah, I have a ton of books here that just add to my never-ending TBR, which is always a good time. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I'm really excited to dip more into fantasy and always excited to... I don't know, just have a variety of books so that I never get bored. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment and let me know your opinion on any of the books I just showed you, if you've read them, if you haven't, if you've heard anything about them, just like let me know, we can chat about it. And yeah, um, I upload on Mondays usually, but like upload schedules in me aren't friends, so. Uh, I say tentatively, I tentatively upload on Monday. If there's gonna be a video, it's gonna be on Monday. That's all I can offer. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.
feel like I need to move closer to the camera, but then I'm not in shot anymore. But how do you see these teeny little books? <sighs> my, li my Little Mermaid, My Little Pony. What? My hair is a mess today. All right, so somehow I have to do a book like tuber um, thumbnail with all of this shit. There's just no way. This stack is as tall as I am. Maybe that's what I do. Alright, that should be enough. No! 